hi welcome back in this video I will discuss best first search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a simple solved example in the previous videos we have already discussed the depth first search algorithm and breadth first search algorithm the link for those videos is present in the description below best first search algorithm combines the advantages of both DFS and BFS into a single method we do have some disadvantages of uh, the DFS and uh, BFS as well as we do have some advantages also the advantages of DFS and BFS are combined into a single method that is called best first search algorithm in artificial intelligence at each step in BFS that is best first search algorithm we select the most promising node we have generated so far for example uh, in a given graph or the tree if you have already generated some uh, uh, n number of nodes we need to select the node which is most promising at a given point of time so that is what the BFS search process does this is done by applying uh, appropriate uh, heuristic function to each of uh, these particular uh, nodes which were already generated we then expand the chosen node by using the rules to generate its successors that is uh, once you select a particular node which is promising we need to get its successor and the same process is uh, applied till we reach the goal state to implement this particular uh, algorithm that is uh, best first search algorithm we need uh, two data structures one is open and another one is closed open data structure contains all those particular nodes which were generated okay which were generated were present in open data structure but they have not yet been examined they will be present in open data structure the closed data structure contains all those particular nodes which were already been examined so this is what the closed data structure contains so these are the two data structures which are uh, very important uh, when it comes to implementing uh, best first search algorithm in artificial intelligence now we will see uh, how the algorithm looks like and then we will go with uh, a simple example to understand the algorithm first what we do is uh, we will uh, uh, put the initial state into open and and uh, in the second step we will do this particular second step until the goal is found or there are no nodes left in open so uh, if you found the goal that is fine if there are no nodes left in the open the meaning is uh, we were unable to reach the goal node so that is the second one if any of these particular conditions are satisfied we will come out of the loop otherwise we will perform these particular steps recursively or continuously can say first what we will do is uh, we will pick uh, the one node from the open which is best at a given point of time so let us say that we have some uh, n number of nodes we need to select one node which is best at that particular point of time then we need to generate the successors of that particular node for each successors we have to do this particular thing if it has not been generated before that is the successor is uh, not generated before put that particular node into open and record its parent if it is already been generated change the parent if the new path is better than the previous one because what happens is uh, it is already generated it is present in the open but uh, when you generate it one more time the thing is uh, the parent may be different in such case we need to check the uh, you can say that the distance or you can say that the uh, node which is uh, better based on that we need to uh, can say that select the parent in that case so that is uh, what we need to do it in the second step these two steps are repeated unless and until we reach either the goal state or we don't have any uh, nodes in the open data structure so once you apply this particular thing either we will get the goal state or we may end up with what we can say that uh, the uh, failed state because uh, uh, the path may not exist between open or uh, initial state and the goal state now we will take a simple example uh, let us say that uh, we have some different nodes they were connected using this particular uh, uh, the edges 
uh, we have been given uh, the distance for each and every what you can say that the node or you can say that the edges in this case uh, c is the initial or the source node l and z are the goal nodes either we have to reach l or we have to reach z once you reach any of these things we have to stop if you don't reach uh, and if you don't have anything in the open then also we have to stop here so first uh, we will put this particular c into open because this is the initial state now we will examine this particular c once i examine i will get the successors the successors of uh, c are b t o e p in this case so first i will put this particular c from open to closed and then all these particular successors will be placed into open here but while placing these things in open we will uh, place them based on the uh, distance or the estimated distance that is uh, uh, in the ascending order now if you see here the t will come first and then o then e uh, b and p here now uh, what we need to do is uh, we have generated these particular nodes now we need to examine these nodes so first we will select the first uh, node the first node in this case is t so i will take t here once i examine t i don't have any successors here so i have put this particular t into closed but i don't have anything to put into open here and it has not a goal state so i have to examine the next node the next node is o i will put this particular o into closed and then i have to examine this particular o so once i examine i found that there are two successors are there that is i and n i have to place this i and n into open based on the distance so uh, 4 is the minimum so i will put i first and 44 is the highest among these so i will put at the last here so this is how actually it looks like now if you uh, see this particular open uh, i is having the minimum distance or you can say that a minimum estimated distance so i will put this i from open to closed here and then i will examine i so once i examine i i have only one uh, successor that is z i will put that particular z into open the estimated distance is zero so z will come and sit at the first place here now i will try to examine the next node from the open the next node from open is z here so once i examine this particular thing it's a goal node because it's a goal node uh, we can say that the goal is reached and then uh, you can say that uh, we can uh, stop this particular uh, the algorithm here by giving uh, what you can say that the final uh, the path here the final path in this case is uh, you can say that c c to o o to i i to z in this case so that is the final path in this case uh, we found the uh, goal also in this case so this is how the best first uh, search algorithm works in artificial intelligence i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and uh, share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching